Hey guys, it's Steven here with Heritage Homestead. Uh, you know, we've been getting a lot of new subscribers to the YouTube channel and to the Facebook. I just want to say that I really appreciate that. It really helps us uh, to find what we're doing, to continue to experiment, to learn, and share what we're doing and learning with you guys. So, once again, thank you very much. If you haven't already done that, please like and subscribe. Uh, it really does help. So, thanks again. Uh, I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on what we're doing in the garden started a three sisters garden I think I've talked a little bit about it in the past but basically what a three sisters garden is is a Native American technique of companion planting and it was kind of the foundation of agriculture here in North America and probably mid and South America too but the three main crops in a three sisters garden is corn beans and squash okay or winter squash or pumpkins so they help each other out by they assist each other by the corn provides a hole for the bean to climb up. Okay, a bean plant will pull nitrogen from the air and put nitrogen into the soil for the corn. The corn really needs that. And then also the squash or the the ground cover squash, not really your summer squash, but mainly your winter squash. The pumpkins is going to vine out, create a ground cover. It's going to prevent weeds, help moisture stay in the soil. And some say that it even keeps raccoons from getting the corn because I guess raccoons don't like to touch the, the prickly vines and squash. I don't know if that's true, but that's what they say. Um, I don't have too much of a raccoon problem out here with Griffin. Uh, he's a good guard dog and he kind of keeps most critters away. Uh, but I do love pumpkins and squash, so we're going to grow some of those. Um, they're called Three Sisters again because they help one another out. It's a form of companion planting. The Native Americans grew a lot of other things, obviously, but that seems to be of what they grew and with that they were able to, to have huge civilizations uh, here and, and they weren't tilling up the land they weren't plowing most of what they did was with a digging stick uh, to plant their seeds and they had different methods of doing that and different spacing uh, that they did with their three sisters garden depending on which tribe and which region in America you were in uh, you know some of the methods were a little bit different okay I'm going to show you what we're doing uh, we followed an example of a diff of, uh, that I found online. Don't get too caught up on the design pattern because uh, again, you got to take into consideration where you are, your climate, which varieties of corn, beans, and squash grows uh, for you, and what kind of spacing you need. Uh, so this is just an example, okay? Uh, but what you see here behind me, and sorry about the wind if it's too loud. I had this tarped off. I just pulled it back the other day. It's it's mostly dead. Uh, what is that? Uh, Princess Bride. He's, he's only mostly dead. Uh, so the hills that you see is where the corn are. First thing is the corn. It needs to get about a finger length high before you plant the beans because if you don't, the beans will be it'll overtake the corn stalk. The corn stalk won't be strong enough. So traditionally. And again, this kind of depends on where you're at. If you're in a more arid area like uh, where the Hopi were in the, kind of the Arizona area, uh, it's a lot drier, very little rain, so they're not going to be building hills. They actually plant their corn deep into the ground. Uh, but here I'm doing hills. So it's about 18 inches wide and about 4 inches high. Didn't till this. I just broad forked it, kind of pulled up some of the dirt to make a hill I top dressed it with compost and I put the chicken wire here because my chickens kind of run loose and they love to, to venture into this area and I really don't want them getting this corn or scratching it up and that's that seems to be helping keep them from destroying it so a little tip there uh, with this method I did four corn kernels in each hill about six inches apart so there 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 and there uh, traditionally you're going to uh, the Native Americans would respect the four corners or the four directions north east south and west and plant according to that And that's what I did here uh, About the time in a week or so when the corn is about a finger length high. I'll plant a bean along each Corn that's going to crawl up that corn stalk like a trellis uh, This is spaced out Four foot to the centers and I kind of messed up when I was reading the the, the, the spacing directions I thought I meant four foot from squash hill. In between, I was going to do squashes according to this layout. And I, so I did four foot to this row, what will be this row, and then four foot to the corn 
cornrow, and that I messed up. That's actually supposed to be four foot for cornrow, corn row. So I went ahead and planted some corn uh, along here. I didn't do the hills in between, so that'll be kind of an experiment. We'll see. Does the hit do the hills make any difference? Uh, do I have bigger stalks, healthier ears on these as opposed to the ones with no hills? We'll see. But in between. So you'll have a corn, uh, a group of corn here, here, and in between the spaces, right here, that's where the squash will be, okay, or the pumpkins and the winter squash. On the north side, I did a row of sunflowers. Planted those the other day too. So as soon as these come up, I'll give you an update and I'll let you know when I plant the squash. Um, this is really these are really good storage crops these are going to last throughout the winter and uh, last a long time i did a row of peanuts here that i got from a local farmer and here's my sweet potatoes that's mulched and uh you can see them there heavily mulched with hay got a few tomatoes right there uh, again no-till i tarped it killed the grass killed the weeds and eh, some of it's still alive but that's okay it'll make do anyways that's an update Hope you liked it. Hope you learned something. Uh, experiment with this. Uh, look online. There's a lot of different designs, different different spacing. Do your own thing. You don't have to have this much space. Uh, you can do it with a smaller area too. And especially with the pandemic going on, there's a lot of food shortages. Uh, you know, this might be a, a good thing to do. And right now is the time to plant a Three Sisters garden. See you later. I'll keep you posted. See you soon. Thanks.